Hello there everybody, it's BBD from Darkside, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back shot hunting an Ultra Moon, and we're going for an Entei this time. And the previous video, with only 6 soft resets, and 1 minute into the recording, we got ourselves a shiny Cobalion. My luck has been getting better, I really hope it gets better on the, the Kranidos side of things, as you can see the top right, I'm shiny hunting Kranidos. I really hope the Kranidos luck, like, pushes in. Because it's been, right now, as of me recording this, like, uh, intro, it's been over 12 to 13,000 soft resets, and not soft resets, technically it's encounters or fossils revived. Uh, and I still haven't found a single Kranidos, it's killing me. And it's been that way for a whole bunch of hunts. The only time I'm lucky is in Ultra Moon, and I kinda don't like it because I have the shiny charm here, so the luck here is a little, is boosted. Uh... I mean, th listen, 367 soft resets for an Entei, that's insane. Six soft resets for a Cobalion, that's mind-numbingly freaking awesome. Like, uh, considering it's like 1 in 1,300, 1,400-ish, 1, these these odds that I'm getting them on, it's freaking insane. 367 is nothing to sneeze at. It's six, that's insane. Uh, but I still really hope I get something full odds, like 1 in 4,000 or 1 in 8,000. Uh, I recently recorded some, some 1 in 8,000 hunts, but no shinies, so <laughs> can't, can't do anything about that. My hunt with full odds uh, has been trash. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Ultra Moon for a little while, and uh, whenever I feel like it, maybe when I get the Cranny Dose, I'll go back to some black and white with 1 in 8,000. Maybe even some Sapphire and Ruby for some of those things too, like a, uh, uh, what's it called, a Groudon, mm, maybe a Mudkip, we'll see, we'll see. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get right to it. Ooh, baby, no way. I was just thinking about if this thing's gonna be, uh, like, an early shine or a very late shine. Oh, dang. The timing on that could not be more impeccable. I, it, it just crossed my mind. I just looked at the, the what's it called, the layout, and I saw it says six soft resets on Cobalion. I got it today, and I was like, well, this thing took six soft resets. I'm either gonna go like a million resets for this Entei, or I'm uh, I'm gonna get it right now. And hey, look, <laughs> Shiny Entei, 367 soft resets. Uh, let's stop this for a little, and I'll be right back with y'all in just a bit. All right, and we are back with Shiny Entei. 367 soft resets is an insanely low amount. Of course, it's not as low as freaking Cobalion. That guy just did not want to wait whatsoever. But, still, pretty low amount. Uh, pretty sure this thing doesn't have anything to kill itself with. Um, Lava Plume, I think, has only 5 PP, so I gotta be careful of that. Uh, none of the legendaries ever have anything that does recoil damage to them. So, that's fine. Dude, this thing just doesn't want to go to sleep. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have early bird. Pretty sure it's it's uh, the the dog's abilities are completely trash. Stuff like blaze and stuff. I don't think it they have like early bird at all. Which uh, if you don't know what early bird does, I'm pretty sure it's an ability that allows you to wake up pretty quick. I'm not sure how quick it uh, it goes, but I know how much of a good ability that uh, that one is. It might be good in uh, in combo with like. What's that uh, move called? Rest. If you use rest and you have early bird, you get your HP fully restored and then you wake up uh, one or two turns later. So that's cool. But I don't think this thing has it. I don't know what the dog's abilities are. Pressure. Yeah, I could have guessed. All Pokemon have pressure. All legendary Pokemon have pressure. <laughs> Alright, still stomping around. Uh, thankfully, the dogs aren't really the scariest thing. They're, they're pretty pretty weak, so I'm not worried about this catch whatsoever. Unlike the, um, the what's it called? The, the Justice Trio? Those are scary. Because they all have very, very strong moves. Because, um, 
the spam swords dance. So I'm not worried. Uh, Smeargle has a burn. That's worrying because now I can't heal. So I'm gonna full restore right away. Because uh, burn uh, removes... Uh, what's it called? It nullifies the leftovers, basically. So let's not do that. Swagger. Ooh. Did not expect that. Use a road pump catch. Did not expect a swagger. Lava Plume has a high chance of um, burning, so that, that kind of sucks as well. Alright, let's go ahead and chuck our first Beast Ball. And I will see y'all whenever this thing gets caught. I'll see y'all in a bit. One shake on the first try. That's pretty good. Hey, There we go. Nice and caught. Heck yeah. Let me move this to the second screen. There we go. Shiny Entei. Oh man, look at that. It looks so good. I don't know if it looks that good on the recording, but the shine on the mask, I guess you can call it. The the black mask on its face next to the golden one. The shine on the of the top right side of it just looks so good. The colors of the shiny Phenomenal. I love Shiny Ante. Uh, Shiny Ante is probably my favorite of the three. It looks so good. Alright, let's go ahead and send Poipole. You can go. Go back home. Ante will remain with us, and I will see y'all when I'm sending this out to a battle. So I'll be right back. Alright, let's check out our Pokemon one more time. Switch out Ente. Switch out the held items. And go ahead and no. No, check the summary and switch the screens out correctly this time. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy's stance. Ooh, amazing nature. Brave, I guess hasty. Wow, this thing's good. No wonder it packed a punch. I mean, it still sucked. <laughs> it's better than a level 100 Smeargle. 75 attack. Ouch. <laughs> My goodness, Smeargle sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, those stats are abysmal. Alright, show me the moves. Oh yeah, Roar. Heck yeah. Man, this thing looks phenomenal. It's kind of sad that the, these legendaries really just aren't the best. I know that there is um a mixture of all three of these in um, Scarlet and Violet. Or, well, in Scarlet specifically, because it's a Scarlet exclusive. I did not bother to do the event to catch one of those, just because I just never cared. I hate Scarlet and Violet. Uh, I mean, it's not hate is a strong word. It's just I don't like raiding in general. Uh, Sword and Shield kind of ruined raiding. And so I don't want to bother in Scarlet and Violet, because screw that. So yeah, didn't, didn't bother. And you can't shiny hunt it, so it's useless. <laughs> If I, if I want to shiny hunt everything. And so I I could not shiny hunt it, so screw that. <laughs> oh, look at that. I love its noises. Okay, it's normal here. Ah, it likes its crown. I guess it's a crown. It's golden. It looks like a crown. Do you pog? Nah, you don't pog. How sad. Oh, that's interesting. You can't even pet its things here. What was your non-favorite place? Let's see. No. Ah, he doesn't like the shackles on um, on his hands. I think they're shackles, I guess you can call them. He doesn't like those being pet. But he likes his crown. I'm, I'm gonna call it a crown. It's nice and gold. Alright, go back into your beast ball. Sweet. Alright, that's another Pokemon caught inside of a Beast Ball. Thank you very much. Give it a save and let's send out into a battle where we have ourselves Regular Pelipper and Shiny Entei. What a good looking Shiny. What a good looking Pokemon. It looks so much better than um, its regular counterpart. 
Well, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's episode, buddy. If you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like down below. And I will see you all in the next one next time. Take care. Good luck on our hunts and goodbye, everyone.